Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Fisheries knows better than anyone the struggles of the fishermen on Prince Edward Island. The lobster season in both the kitchen and the I think the Honourable Member for Cardigan had more to say, and I'd ask members of the government to wait till he's finished saying that before they applaud. They might find they don't feel like applauding him when he finishes a question. But anyway, the Honourable Member for Cardigan. Mr. Speaker, it's a pity she wouldn't help them with the struggles, but the lobster season in both fishing areas were delayed substantially due to ice conditions. And both fishing areas have, re have requested an extension in the season. Will the minister listen to the fish fishermen who are dealing with lost wages? Will she deal with the PEI Fishermen's Association and give the Prince Edward Island fishermen the appropriate extension that they need? The Honourable Minister of Fisheries and Ocean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I meet with the PEI Fishermen's Association on a regular basis and with a number of other fishermen's associations as well. And just for that honourable member's uh, uh, information, uh, he says that we don't help the fishermen. Well, just let me give you these stats. In 2009, the value of lobster sole was $507 million. In, in 2013, that value is $680 million, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. And when it comes to an extension of the season, Mr. Speaker, that decision will be made based on science. Yeah. Yeah.